All right. So moving on, on the previous video, we discussed about the var keyword to declare variables in JavaScript, which eventually we will use in uh, LWC development. Now let's see the better part of how we can declare variables in JavaScript. We are using the let keyword. So let's define the let keyword let cannot be redeclared. Okay. So once you declare a let keyword, you cannot redeclare it. This is to avoid conflicts. So if you are naming your variables when you're developing, say you want to accidentally um, create another variable of the same name, it will error out, right? So you will have a clean code, no conflicts, and makes everything efficient and better, all right? What about the scope? Let me do this instead. It supports both function and block scope. It does not support global scope. Okay. So this is also for non-conflicting code. So say if you're using the var keyword to declare a variable, because the scope is global, right? It can override values all throughout your codes, okay? The more complex your code gets, the more, the bigger the chance of um, the variable get conflicted and the values override with each other, creating a very messy situation. So, in LWC development, we will not be using the var keyword to declare variables. We will be using the let keyword, okay? So this is why it is foundational for you to understand when you develop in the, um, LWC, everything is just let and not using the var keyword. Okay, let's play around now. So, for example, if I set let movie title equals the sim son, okay, this supports block scope, okay, meaning if I set it within this block, right, and I want to access it outside of the block, you cannot access it. So it's going to be available just within this block of code. So if I do console.log uh, movie title, okay, and I'm going to save that, flip to our page and I'm going to refresh this and So you can see there, it says uncaught reference error, movie title is not defined, right? So if I flip back, this is because we are trying to access it from outside the block. So if I move this inside the block of code, save that, and reload, now we can see it's accessing it correctly. The same sun, okay? So, it can also support function level, okay? So, if I go make a function of this, function print title, okay? So, same thing, if I print it outside here, that will not work because 
the movie title variable is only available within this function block. So if I go out and refresh this, we get the same thing. It's not defined. Okay. So if now I just call the function from here, print title, that will work because this is basically is going to run the function. Therefore, this, well, we have to print it out first, console.log, movie title, oopsie, and flip back here and reload that. We have the Simpson. Okay, so now, is this accessible globally? Like I said, it does not support global scope. So how do you test it? How do you test if it doesn't support global scope? Remember the var keyword? It is global because you can see it in the window object properties. With this, you cannot. Okay. So even if I, for example, declare it here outside, let movie title the simpson and then i'm gonna console.log window dot movie title oops it will be undefined because it is not a global scope okay i'm gonna reload that undefined okay so again what is the big difference? We using let will avoid your code of having any conflicts of these variables because you can easily do um, a block of code and then you do a for loop, right? And then you do um, you do an x variable or an i variable as a counter or whatever. If, you, if you're using the var keyword, those x variable or i variable, which is using temporary for, for a counter, they are going to be accessible globally. So we don't want that for the sake of, you know, a clean code and an efficient one. So we don't want that. Therefore, we will be using the lat keyword. All right. That's basically the big difference on why on LWC, we will be using lat instead of using var because if you're used to other programming languages you know even javascript specifically if you code with javascript before and you're just so used of using var now on lwc we will be using the lat keyword all right so that's basically the main difference and the last thing is the const okay what's with the const also we haven't tried uh, the let cannot be redeclared, okay? Like I said, we haven't given an example, right? So if I say let, right? And then movie title um, equals the Simpson. And then you want to do, you want to do another one, let movie title equals the Simpson, it will not allow you. So just in case in between this code, you have a lot of code, right? And then for some reason you want to use, oh, I want to use movie title again. You forgot it was already used upstairs somewhere or on another include JavaScript, whatever the case may be. So you cannot do that. And this is safe. If you try to do that, you will have an error. Boom, right? Line 17, it says, this has already been declared. So now you know, oh, it's been declared. So you will not have a messed up code, which will take hours to debug if you're just using the var keyword and then it's redeclared and, and then you're gonna have a, a messy situation, like a spaghetti situation is all tangled up and it, why, why, what's going on here? It's just wasting time for debugging, right? With the let keyword, it's way, way, way more safer. All right, so before we move on and close this video, the const keyword. Const is a constant. It's a never changing thing, right? So the only difference with the const keyword, 
it is it cannot be updated so if I say constant and then um, pi 3.14 for example right and then you want to set pi equals 3.15 and then that alone will cause an error because you cannot update the value of a constant it's like that okay so if i refresh this guy that assignment to constant variable error you can't re not really declare but you cannot update the value so if i just don't do that and i can just console.log pi we should have no problem there Boom, 3.14. All right, so, oops, um, my code is here. So basically, that's what I want to discuss here. This is the continuation from the previous video, which we declare or um, discuss about the var keyword when declaring variables. So let, you cannot redeclare it, okay? Once you declare it, let, um, for example, yeah, let's just move it title. The Godfather. Right? And then you cannot set another one. This will not work. Okay? So you cannot redeclare really it. You can, however, update it. You can, you can update it, change the value. You can do that, okay? And then the scope, it supports function and block. Okay, remember that. Uh, what's that mean? Means if it's in a piece of block code like that, I'm just repeating myself. I know I'm re repeating myself so you understand, okay? This is not only is available in this block of code you cannot access this variable outside you cannot all right and you can uh, the same thing is within the function okay function blah this is on, also only available within the function if you access movie title outside of the function it will not be accessible it will throw an error so the only difference with the cons the cons is you cannot update it okay cannot update cons so you cannot set the value to another value so that's that's it that's the foundation for this video and we will be moving on to the next foundation on the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.